everyone happy new year and welcome back to my channel so you know how i got myself a pollen bag for christmas well there is a few issues with it so i decided to just return it um luckily they do have a location in new york in soho um so i won't have to mail it back there's been like some horror stories online about how their customer service is just not great in that department so i figured it'd be easy for me to just kind of like go return it in stores in person um also just to let you guys know they did do a price increase recently the bag that i'm returning now costs 80 dollars more than i purchased it for so wow that is insane um but anyways i figured since i was in the area and since lv actually just released a ton of new items i would go check it out i'm going to show you guys all the things that i look at today and let's get into this video now One of the newest things that Louis Vuitton recently launched is their monogram dune canvas, which is basically their traditional monogram canvas pattern, but on a white background instead of the brown one. And it also has some added black leather details. And I know that some people don't like those black details on the bag, but I actually am probably in the minority because I really like them. I tried on the Nano Alma in the Monogram Dune canvas and I thought it looked quite nice because this is in a newer, smaller size as well as it's this slightly different Monogram canvas. I think it just gives the bag this freshness that you don't get with the typical Monogram Almas. Now some of my favorite pieces from this newest launch are all the items in the flat malletage design. So there's a few speedies as well as side trunks in this design and it's interesting because I borderline hate the padded malletage look. Ever since Louis Vuitton came out with it in their Go 14 bags, I didn't like the puffiness of the quilts and I didn't like that kind of like shading gradient effect they put on it either. It just looked really, really strange to me. So it's weird that I have completely did a 180 as long as they just flattened those quilts. And I really like the black one specifically. The leather feels so nice. And if I didn't already have way too many black bags, I would have totally gotten the black malletage side trunk in the PM size, which I've tried on along with the monogram canvas side trunk in the PM size, as well as one size smaller. And between these two new sizes, as well as the original side trunk, which they're now calling the MM size, I truly think that the PM size is the best of all three. And there are also so many new capucines in stores now. So Louis Vuitton has released their capucines in this new east-west style. So they did it in black as well as white. And the thing is that the hardware on these bags matches the leather on them. So you guys know I have a thing for bags with black hardware. And I really think this bag rivals the Ultra Matte Lady Dior's. I think they are so stunning and I have to admit that I thought the shape of these east-west capucines was really strange when I saw photos of them, but I have to admit they look better in person. And then on top of that, there are some new capucines with this added um, flower on the handle. It's kind of like this metal flower. Um, on the side of the handle as well as what I think is such a money grab but I also can't deny that part of me thinks it's super adorable so it's their capucines bag but it comes with this tiny little capucines bag charm and they even put a spot on the shoulder strap where you can hook that tiny little bag charm and I think it's so adorable they've kept all the little details on that tiny little bag charm it even has that little divider on the middle 
It's so adorable, but also so useless at the same time. That little bag charm, I don't even think it fits a credit card in there. And now for the millennial nostalgia part of this wave of launches, and that is their denim collection as well as their vernis collection. And I think the denim collection is probably the best selling part of everything that launched on New Year's Day. But I honestly was not wowed by the pieces that I saw in store. The fabric just didn't feel like they were worth the amount that Louis Vuitton was charging for them. However, I really like the vernis pieces and I didn't think I would say that because I don't like patent leather in general. I love the cheerful summery colors they chose for these pieces and that shimmer that you can see in the vernis leather is just so gorgeous. And I tried on two bags from this new vernis collection. So the first one is the reed bag in the hot pink and it comes with this attached hair clip. And I have to say, if you could buy that hair clip separately, I would totally get it just for the color. Um, but you can't buy it separately and I am not spending bag money for a tiny little hair clip that I honestly don't even know how often I would use. And the other bag that I tried on is a new style called the croissant. So this one is in the light blue vernis, and I think the shape of this bag is quite fun. It actually reminds me more of a bean than it does a croissant, but I can see why they decided to name this bag croissant. And this specific one actually doesn't come with the smaller croissant bag on the side. If you want that bag hanging off of another bag look, they do have the style in the monogram canvas as well as the denim fabric. But this specific one in the blue vernis leather is only one single bag. It does come with two straps. It comes with a leather strap as well as one that is a chain strap, but both of them are approximately the same size. So this bag will not be able to be worn crossbody without you getting an extra strap. Sorry for the horrible lighting, but I realized I haven't filmed an outro for this video. So I just wanted to hop in and say that I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're eyeing anything from this newest Louis Vuitton launch or any of the future ones that are coming up really, really soon. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for lots more content on luxury handbags, jewelry, and fashion coming up this year. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.